Okay, this is an interesting one. It's a tiny one. One of the tiniest things I've done. Probably not quite the tiniest, or it probably is the tiniest. We'll soon see what we can do with it. Make it look nice. Despite its diminutive size, it's definitely going 400. And I'll have to use a, make a master copy to make it even bigger because it doesn't go up any higher than 400. So this will be an interesting one if we can make it look good. Just a little bit of contrast, fair amount. A little bit of lightness. Right. Let's see what this is. It's really small. It's interesting what it says on it. It is a rivet off a pair of jeans. Basically what it says is new future. New future, that's an interesting name for a pair of jeans or whatever. Sometimes I feel my future is, is almost virtually new because in the past, my old future, you could say, was that things were going to be really bad. Uh, I was going to end up that when I die, something really horrible is going to happen to me and that it would last forever and that I'd end up going to a horrible place. So I was afraid of death, but I was also afraid of other things like things breaking in the house and having to keep calling the tradesmen in. That used to stress me out and basically I used to worry about this and worry about that. My future wasn't looking all so bright. didn't feel like it was. Actually, that's a bit dark. You can see it says new future. So that was basically what I could simply refer to as my old future. The, you know, what, what's going on in my head about the future. I mean, there's no such thing as a new future, but in your head, it can be like that it does exist. Because when you've gone from one future thinking everything's going to be shit, and then you go from another one, then, the other, then your new future in your head becomes, I'm going to a happy place when I die. Things are not so bad. I still worry about things, but I know that the general direction of my future is looking good. The general direction is positive. I'm going to get married to Luigi. I'm going to, have, I'm going to be doing all sorts of really nice things. So my future is bright. Like I look forward to one day building an artificially intelligent photocopier with Luigi and basically helping people with the money we make from it so the future is we you know it's a lot it's a brighter future even though not so lot of well it's just over seven years ago since i had this disturbing problem with my future so yeah that little rivet seems to say it all pretty much about what my future has become and a much happier brighter future so i'm looking forward to getting married and doing all sorts of stuff, becoming a scientist and a CEO, having uh, a neural neuroprosthesis fitted to my brain because I've got to fix the brain damage I had at birth with the cord around my neck and me being coming out breech, which is the feet first position, and that caused the oxygen to be shut off along with having the cord around my neck. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to a bright future now and... That's the new future, but the old future was, is now gone. It's the past. It's not going to eventuate. I know I've got a bright future now. I'm happy. I'm not happy with my present because my future has caused me, my old future, which is now the past, has caused me a lot of grief. And I'm just trying to dig myself out of the hole that it left me in. But I know I'm going to get out of that hole. It's just a question of time and effort. I have to keep working on it, and I've just blown this picture right off, right off the edge of the page. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, it's basically something I have to work on is to repair the damage to things like relationships, uh, my with my family, with people I used to know, 
uh, I had I had a really bad effect on people. I was so negative in my thinking, and it just fucked everything up. And I'm just trying to get dig my way out of it, uh, trying to get people to trust me once again. It's not easy when you fuck your whole life up, thinking you, you know, worrying about death. Death was the basically the the centerpiece of my woes in in this old future that I had. But the new future has to come and it's just taking a while to try and bring it to bring it to the forefront. So yeah, it's hard to try and um, break away from the old and to put it, bring in the new because sometimes people take you down as well. They remind you of the past and they basically try to put you down about the past and that's really not nice. Uh, trying to dig my way out of this and having people impeding impeding my progress by telling me off for the things I did wrong in the past which was you could say the old future so I'm not happy with that uh, but I and that includes my father and he basically had to take a lot of my negativity I know he bullied me and treated me like shit and he threw me out of his home by changing the lock on the door so he did a really low act doing that, but that was because of the negativity of the past that he decided to behave like such an asshole. So, so basically now I have to prove to my dad that that I'm moving in the right direction and that what judgments I make about my life and the things I do in my life are going to basically I'm going to somehow. Uh, make my dad happy because I don't want to hold a grudge forever and call him a bully and an asshole forever I basically want to break away from that I would have to forgive his past as well but I'm still struggling trying to forgive my own past and when people like my father decide to say horrible things about me because of the past it really drags me under and I get angry and I get furious and my dad used to try and rile me up when I was living there and try to remind me of the past and he just made me throw a, throw a huge uh, a huge have huge meltdowns like a typical person with Asperger's syndrome would have uh, well I don't know how typical it was but basically I'm trying to decide which one I want I'm trying to think which one this one looks better but basically yeah uh, it's very hard to to deal with people's responses because people still think you're you're the same shitty person from the past. They don't see you as the new person and that really used to piss the shit out of me and make me angry and Dad used to try and bring that up and he just used to te tease me and bully me. Well, what's the point? I, why did I have a father who's a bully? I had enough bullies at school, thank you very much. Fuck off, Dad. You want to be a bully? I'll put you in the same class as the people who teased and bullied me at school and made my school life a fucking misery. You're no different, bitch. You're not going to remind me of the past. I'm going to push on with the future. If you want to remind me of the past, fine. I'm going to call you nasty names. I'm going to tell, tell people about you what an asshole you've been to me. Oh, yeah, I can spread the word. I can spread it really fast. I mean, just expect it in your fucking news feed, cunt. I mean, shit, I could do that, you know, with, with the power of technology. I could basically take my father's insults and push them and make them... And basically, what can I say? I'm starting to get a bit... Start, I don't know how I'm going to make this look any good. This looks shit. I have been doing some pretty shit demos today, and this one's off the page. Shit. Fuck me, Dad. It's hard to talk about the past and the future when this is happening. So I'm just trying to work out how to make this look. But, you know, it's just hard to deal with the past when... Because you know you've done some horrible things. You know you've fucked up people's lives. You know you've, you've fucked up your own life. And basically, I don't want to be reminded. And if my dad wants to remind me of that, he can go sit on this and gyrate. Because he's, he's got no business trying to tell me off for something I'm trying to fix. 
and I'm trying to fix it good and fast, and he won't bloody have a... You know, it's just not fucking fair that he wants to pick on me just for the things I'm so sorry for. You know, I'm so sorry. I don't need to be told told what I already know about myself. I know I fucked up. And I just can't even... I can't even make money out of what I do best as, a, as an artist. I, I mean, I'm disabled and I wish I could do this as a, a living because I know I could make a lot of people potentially happy. Now, I'm trying to get this to look... To get this... How should I put it? I'm trying to cut the bottom off it. I don't know how to do that. This is not working. Sorry, folks. I'm just going to try and have a look at the original now. I'm not going to fucking try to guess, guess the fuck out of it. So I'm just going to try and put my finger there and line up my finger with the edge of the, the corner of the glass. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, I want to make this look nice. I've done I've done some pretty dud demos today. And some of them, one of them was really prolongated, and I can see this one's going to be prolongated. But basically, one day they'll have the technology to fix the broken parts of my brain, like the short-term memory and. The other part called the hypocampus, which takes short-term memories and turns them into long-term memories. And basically, I want to look forward to that sort of shit. And basically, I want to be able to build photocopiers that are artificially intelligent and that can help people use them properly and not have to learn all this shit, you know? And basically... I want to be a philanthropist. I want to give most of the money away to good causes. And one of the things I want to do is be a scientist. And in my spare time, I want to create science fair projects that can help mankind. And one of the th- and some of the things I want to do is, like, create... Um, how should I put it? I want to create... Um, now I'm st- stuttering again, sorry. I want to be able to create experiments that can help the planet like to to find a solution to climate change and global warming to um harness the power of lightning as it, as another renew, renewable energy source because not everywhere is going to have enough sunshine and there might just be enough stormy weather with all this climate change so maybe before climate change gets affected um, we might have to indeed go for the renewable energy of lightning bolts so it's going to be, how should I put it? So basically, yeah, it's going to, that might be part of the solution. And, you know, because by then the climate change will still be pretty bad and there'll be a lot of vicious storms and many of them would, would ultimately involve lightning. And what better way to make use of this stormy weather than to harness it as, as a source of uh, renewable energy? And allow this energy to be free, free to anyone, not just to the rich or the people involved in making the energy. How about make it available for everyone else? You know, make it free. Why should we have to pay for electricity? Why, if, if you can get renewable energy like solar and wind and then lightning and tides, well, basically... You don't need to charge people to use electricity. Why do you want to charge? Why do you want to be so piggish about it? Electricity should not be a fucking luxury. It should be a right. A right like any other human right. It has to be a right. Now, this is not looking too good. Uh, But basically, electricity should be a human right to own, to have, not to own, but to have, to use. It shouldn't be just for the... It shouldn't be a monetized thing because everything's all monetized. It's such a wreckage. The big power companies are just getting in there and gouging you, gouging the eyes out of the prices of the power. I can't afford to heat my unit because of these dumbass power stations, and they don't even use much renew- renewable anyway. They're mostly coal, and we don't want that shit. But no, the rich people, such as the power companies, they don't care. They couldn't give a fuck. They've got ultimate control over it, and they don't care. As long as they can heat their homes and cool their homes, that's fine with them that we can't do it here. And a lot of people 
try to ration their power bills. They try to switch off their hot water systems uh, to keep the keep the costs down because, after all, hot water systems use heaters, right? He anything with a heating element is is expensive to run, and some people have gone to that drastic measure of only switching on their hot water systems when they actually need to take a shower. I don't know whether that would shorten the life of the hot water service if if that was to, if people do that, but anyway. But this looks quite interesting. I'm thinking I could have made it a bit bigger, but actually I quite find it interesting the way it looks like it's turned in. It's an interesting thing. I think now we can call it quits, but you get it, guys. You know, I'll be I'll be giving most most of this money will go towards these projects, and I'll be giving away these discoveries to people who are responsible. And we want to make a cleaner, greener, happier environment. We want everyone to have a fair go. We want everyone with a disability to be properly, to have proper adaptive technology and and helpful technologies to make their lives worthwhile as well. Not just the rich, able-bodied pricks that we know today. We've got to make this world a fairer place and a greener place. Otherwise, there'll be lives lost and miserable lives as well. So I think we kind of call that quits. Got to go.